Back to tables. We want to come back and take a look at changing our tables to include not just the names of the universities, but also a column for the years that we attended and another column for my degrees. So let's go back to our code. And let's add in some new columns. Now, the University of South Dakota, I'm going to add in a column. And in this column, I'm going to put in my degree, doctorate. And I'm going to put in another column. The year 2000. And we'll come, I'll come down to Ferris State University and I'll put in a new column with our TDs and we'll plug in Masters of Science and then we'll add our third column in the second row Nineteen eighty-seven, and we'll come down. Oops, and we'll put in a new column. This one is for the degree, and that's a Bachelor of Arts, and another column for the year, and this one's going to really show my age, 1975. Yes, I took some, quite a bit of time off between my degrees. And then we've got one more, Lansing Community College. And that would be an Associates. was 1972. Okay, so you should have three columns. Now, it might not be a bad idea to insert a new row so that we have some headings. So let's go ahead and let's do that. Go all the way up to the top and we're going to insert a new row. I don't know where that second T came from. Okay, there's my new row. And I need a TD. And this one will be school. And another one. Whoops, I'm sorry, folks. These should be THs for headings. Please forgive me. I mean, it would work as columns, but we're going to get a little something special, as you'll see with the headings. So I've got school, degree, and I need one more. This time I remembered it's a table heading that I'm after. And this will be year. Okay. So let's save that out. And then let's bring back our page. And that's what it looks like. Now We've got three columns, and notice that our headings are centered over our columns, and 
They're in bold characters, so they stand out as headings. Now, I'm going to take a little break, but when I come back, we'll clean this up so our columns aren't so close together, and we'll show you how to put a border around this so it'll be more attractive. So, check back in a moment.